Hello everyone. I'm back. I uh, just wanted to show you some interesting uh, readings I was getting. Uh, this is the voltage across our bulb under load on the uh, coils here. And you'll notice it's a negative 13 or whatever volts. Uh, so if the bulb was getting you know, under what it needed to run, it would probably read under 12. I'm not sure why it's reading the, uh, the negative. So check it out. If I take my finger off, watch the reading. here, the other side of the battery, or the uh, other side of the light, then it uh, switches range again, <coughs> and you've got this, you know, even higher voltage across the bulb, so it's telling me that it's getting the voltage it needs to run at its full brightness, and that is bright to look at. So I've got uh, 170 nanos, uh, it's about 160 nanos here actually, 10 nanos and 150, and then 20 nanos on the uh, primary, and if you'll notice I'm uh, using magnets to uh, quench the gap, and uh, it's actually the nose is doing uh, good stuff. It really quiets the noise down a bit. Uh, still no heating on the gap. I've never had heating problems at all. It's always stayed cool. Smart gap should never get hot. I don't know why it does that for other guys. One thing uh, that I did notice once
It's actually a normal light in here, but it's really bright from this thing. So, yeah, I think it's a 60 watt bulb. Uh, 12 volt automotive bulb. And that is one freaky reading. But, like I said, you can uh, get a little better reading if you put your finger on it. <laughs> Back to normal. Pretty stable. So I'm pretty sure there's uh, enough voltage across the bulb to uh, make it run fully with uh, 18 watts input, I think. It's like 60 volts at uh, 300 milliamps. Just the gap here, but that's better. That is right. God, super hot too. Could even uh, put it inside. Uh, Inside a shroud. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stick this in there. a bad example, but can't really do it with one hand. <laughs> but it is pretty bright. And like I said, I'm quenching it with the um, <clears throat> a couple magnets now. <clears throat> These are uh, uh, off of a voltmeter. Uh, they got a little piece of Velcro. Uh, put the light on. A little piece of Velcro, and uh, it's just like a plastic, uh, rubber encased magnet. And uh, I've got uh, these extra magnets I stuck on the sides. Uh, I think the gap is about millimeter, 1.5 millimeters. Uh, and because these are uh, encased in the plastic or rubber or whatever, uh, they don't seem to short anything out in the gap area. It's pretty cool. So 20, or uh, sorry, 10 nanos on the uh, primary now. And uh, 160 nanos on the secondary. And I'm trying out these diodes because I want to go for a DC output. Um, and uh, one weird thing 
Uh, I'm gonna get a, a thermometer, a laser thermometer, and show you guys. Uh, these actually stay r nice and cool. They don't seem to warm up at all. And I went and added this because I needed another 10 nanos. Uh, and this thing, like, some sort of weird heating. It, I went and touched it and it burned my fingers so bad that, uh, yeah, it kind of screwed me up for a day, but, um, <clears throat> that's uh, about it. Um, and I'm finding best results with, uh, keeping it in the, the lowest volt range, but it seems like I can use a higher wattage than, uh, than, you know, I thought I could in the first place, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and then these weird meter readings are pretty interesting too. <laughs> and uh, the input's pretty nice, uh, 60 volts at uh, 300 milliamps or something, and that's overestimating. Um, so that's like 18 watts, uh, and we got, you know, full voltage across our load meaning it's at full power. And I, I'll have to confirm what uh, wattage that is, but uh, just for fun I'll set up this uh, halogen bulb that I had going. If I can... So that's not doing too bad either. Pretty decent. And our voltage across the bulb. negative, but pretty cool. 